I am in so much pain. I am in pain. <laughs> I feel like my chest is going to drop out. It's going to drop off. You might be wondering how I got to this point. Let me explain. My baby is one year, six months. She's, yeah, she's one year, six months. And I feel like it's time that I win her now because she's been breastfeeding like a newborn. On top of that, her appetite is pathetic. So I was thinking the appetite is so bad because she's still breastfeeding. So I'm trying to win her. P.S. It's only my husband and I in this house and a young girl. Um, in most situations, like in Zambian home situations, if you're trying to win a baby, the baby has to go and sleep on another bed with another person because they believe if the baby is on the same bed with you, you feel pity and you end up giving them the breast, which I do not want in this case. So I have no other option. Uh, both my mothers are far away, so I can't even take her anywhere for the weekend or for the week or for a few days for her to adjust to not being given the breast. So I'm doing this basically all alone with my husband. The first step is to buy her uh, enough snacks and a few groceries so that I can offer them to her when she wants the breast. The second thing, Mama. yes, baby. The second thing would be to find something bitter to put on my breast. So I've been looking at all the options. I feel like chili is a bit cruel, so I'm going to use aloe vera instead. So I have to go and plant some aloe vera at my neighbor's house, and I'm going to put the aloe vera this morning. Please wish me luck. I'm already getting emotional. I feel like I've been delaying the winning process because I still feel so attached to my baby. Um, I feel like that's the connection that she and I have. But I think it's time for her to win. I would have loved to go up to. Uh, maybe one year eight or two years but her appetite is not good um she i've tried putting on multivitamins they're not working as they're supposed to work so the only option is to win her so that she can solely depend on solid foods i feel have to cry i feel bad that i'm doing this to her but it has to be done so yeah let's contract the aloe vera <laughs> I did it I just plucked so I'm about to apply it on the boobies and um, we'll see what happens <laughs> we'll see what happens she's not requested for the boob yet she's just remitting her porridge so which is a good thing yeah it's been a few hours um so are you sleeping on the back from the time that she tested the aloe vera she's been avoiding the boobies so I've just been giving her water Hi, so I'm about to go to bed. Um, the boobs are engorged, they are hurting. I'm just going to drink my BP medication. So Paul has been good throughout the day. She's not been very problematic. She's afraid of the booby. Um, I don't know now, I feel bad. <laughs> I have separation anxiety, so I feel bad. But she didn't want to like suck. Is that weird? I don't know. Anyway. Let's see how the night will go. Good morning. Um, whew, my boobs are so engorged, they're painful. <laughs> did we sleep? No, we didn't. I did not sleep. Seppo did not sleep. She kept um, requesting for the breast, and I offered it to her, but it has aloe vera, remember? So, so that's the first night. I'm hoping tonight will be better because I feel like a walking zombie. I am tired um, and I'm in pain. <laughs> I'm so I'm in so much pain. I was thinking maybe I pump and save the milk, but again, if I pump out the breast milk, my body will feel like I'm still breastfeeding. So I just have to let it be just like this. baby girl has just woken up she's just woken up from her sleep the first thing is ah. so i'm about to give her her breakfast how was your night it was okay um okay so bye
I am in so much pain. I am in pain. <laughs> I feel like my chest is going to drop out. It's going to drop off. Huh? Isn't there a better way of winning a baby that does not involve so much pain? I don't understand why breastfeeding at the very beginning is painful and winning a child off is also painful. You know, why can't my brain just the uh, process within a day and stop producing milk because the breasts are full of milk but more milk is being produced and because she's not sucking any of it out it's just getting congested and clogged in, like in my in all the tubes and whatnot <laughs> is it tubes all the vessels are being clogged with so much milk so i'm in pain my brain has not yet realized that it needs to stop producing milk because a child has not sat. And many people are telling me it's going to take two to three days for the breasts to go back to normal and for my body to realize I'm no longer breastfeeding. So I blame the hormones. I blame the hormones. The hormones are taking time to realize I'm no longer breastfeeding. But I guess that's how god designed it because i mean if milk takes three to four days coming in i'm sure even winning like the for the milk to stop being produced it was going to take three to four days of no activity so i've been told not to touch them not to squeeze them because once i try squeezing out the milk uh my hormones are going to rejoice and feel like i am still breastfeeding so they'll start producing more milk so i don't know what's going to happen to the milk that's currently there Maybe the body is going to absorb it. Maybe my body is going to absorb it. I don't know. But I'm in so much pain. I've drank one bruised and tablet. And has it worked? No. It has bounced. <laughs> it has bounced. It's as if I never took any painkiller. So I don't know what to do now. Um, I can't even... You want to eat? I can't even um, hold Sepo here because I'm, I'm in so much pain. She's been trying to sleep. She likes cuddling with me. I can't cuddle her because I'm in so much pain. I don't know what to do. Hi, so today is day three uh, and it's been two nights since I went to off. Uh, she woke up twice last night I tried offering her water she didn't accept the water uh, so i just comforted her a little bit and she slept yeah she woke up requesting for porridge so that's what i'm making for her now so we're going to see we're going to see what she's going to eat today so she's starting with porridge how's your nap beep, beep. So this is day five. Um, it's day five uh, after winning her. Um, she didn't request for the breast. I think just last night when she woke up in the middle of the night and she was, uh, I think, thirsty. That's when she started trying to remove it from the shed. But I offered her some water and she stopped. Now she just likes touching them for comfort, like she's doing now. She just wants this to be outside, but she won't suck. So I don't know what that is about. <laughs> so here is what I feel about winning of a baby. Mm, I was so depressed the first few days because I felt some sort of detachment mm, from my baby. I felt like she didn't need me as much as I needed her. Um, yeah, I just felt like she had abandoned me. She was playing. She, it seemed like she didn't need me at all. But it's like been five days now. It feels liberating. It feels good to feel like I own my own body. It feels good not to feel like I need to constantly remove my boob and expose my breast to the world you know so it feels liberating to win her off i am so glad i managed to um exclusively breastfeed her 
for 18 months by exclusively i mean she never took a bottle i never expressed and gave her milk in a bottle she didn't like it so i just stopped i think i tried once or twice and she could not have it so she each time she fed she fed directly through my boob i'm so grateful for that experience and i'm so grateful also that she did not react so badly to it she um adjusted quickly she really did adjust quickly and i'm so happy and i feel so liberated i feel free i feel independent it feels like i'm getting my body back which is great right yeah so this is the end of the series. 